Good morning, everyone. I am Shah Hyder Ali from uh, MH Sabu Siddhi College of Engineering, Mumbai. So today I am presenting you a new, uh, actually a startup by us, uh, a group of members in our college. We are actually planning to start a new thinking that is smart IOTA is garden. We have a logic behind this that if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. What I mean to say is, uh, I will explain it in further slides. The technologies which I have used in this project is uh, two of them. First is the Internet of Things, wherein, in short, we can say uh, two, uh, two things which are connected between each other to transfer some important data between them is what is, in short, Internet of Things. So we are using this technology so that we can communicate between the uh, phones and the gardens IoT uh, uh, device which is used. Next technology we are using is augmented reality so that the user feels uh, better to use our technology. Uh, augmented reality is, uh, we can just uh, have a simple example of it. The first one is Pokemon Go, wherein uh, you see a Pokemon which is not actually existing in reality. While you, you are playing that game, then you can feel it that it's existing. And second example is Kanua Shoe Sampler, wherein uh, it's a shop's uh, app, wherein if you want to buy a shoe, uh, buy a shoe then you just uh, put in the mobile phone above your legs and just swipe through, then you will feel like you are uh, trying out the shoes. So this is what is augmented reality. So existing system of gardening. Existing system of gardening is like uh, the people have to keep track of the things which is grown in the garden. And uh, then sometimes it's like the person has planted the plant, but still he doesn't have the complete knowledge of what he has actually planted in the garden. Then the thing is that if there is a very huge garden, then it's a higher tendency that some part of the garden will be facing not better growth growth rate. So, and uh, it's also seen that uh, in the municipal gardens, the gardeners don't take proper care of the garden, which uh, uh, leads to failure of proper growth of the plants. So, let me start with a uh, small story. Uh, this is Jane. He's a businessman, and he has a hobby of gardening beside uh, doing business. He has a garden beside here behind his office and he wants to continue the, his office work as well as gardening at the same time. So he is using our app, he is uh, uh, facing the camera on the garden, then uh, he is inputting something, he is getting some notifications and uh, he is getting the updates of what he has planted and he is happy. What is the exact thing behind this? So the user journey, journey which is uh, seen presently is that uh, a person goes to the market he buys the seeds, then he sows the seed, and now it's upon his knowledge that does he knows about the plant properly. If he takes the proper care of it, then the plant will grow well, or else the plant will suffer. Proposed system. In the, our proposed system, we have an app named as My Garden. It has two sections. The first section is map section, wherein, as in the user takes in the picture, the picture, uh, the garden is converted into 2D grid. And uh, there's two color representation, wherein the green represents that the plant is going through a healthy growth rate, and the red represents that the plant is going uh, suffering from some notification associated with it. And the second part is detail section, wherein you can see a graphical representation about the plant's growth, wherein uh, every plant has a database associated with it. And uh, if a plant requires, say, 21 degrees centigrade of temp temperature for a better growth, and he is uh, going through 30 degrees centigrade of temperature, then everything will be shown to you that what temperature it has gone through and what is its growth rate. So overall flowchart is that as soon as you log in into our app, you have a camera installed in the garden, you get the first live view of your garden, and then for, you have a menu wherein you can select the live view, the map view, which is the 2D grid view by the augmented reality. Then we have all plants. Uh, in, the live view, you, uh, in the live view, you, ha you have the augmented reality. In the map view, we have the 2D grid view for a simpler view. Then you have all plants, wherein all plants details is given out. Then you have a new plant. You can add in new plant if you want to take a picture of it and add it into your app. Then you have a settings menu, wherein you can change the way you get the notifications. You can change it by getting the notification in form of SMS, emails, and the features which is in it. Before actually creating the app, we had sketched down what things we wanted in the app. So I am repeating some things. Uh, you have a 2D grid view. The green represents that the plant is going through a very good rate, uh, growth rate, and it has it is getting a proper water uh, at the time and a proper temperature for its growth. 
the red represents that the plant needs some attention and uh, there is a new uh, tab button wherein you just click on the button then you get the uh, menu to add in the plant's name and uh, the date is automatically set in by the system and the next part is the details view wherein you get a graphical representation a pie chart and a bar graph not this one a bar graph and a pie chart and wherein you get the temperature which it had it would it would require to grow and which is which it is going through uh, the total comparison between them then in the detail section only you have the uh, date it was planted the current temperature which is uh, the plant is having currently and then next comes the summary menu wherein there is a side menu in the side menu you have a circular uh, circular part wherein you can see that uh, how much the plant notifications are pending and uh, how much notification alerts you have paid completed and then all the side menus are displayed over here in the next part is the all plants menu wherein you get a list view of all the plants which are plant, uh, planted means all the database will be shown to you okay so the actual app looks like this uh, the app has like uh, you have to put in the email address or sign in uh, you have to sign up or something like that you put in the email address you, you put in the password and you are ready to go you get the live view just like in the pokemon go as you are uh, you on the you are you have clicked the picture of this location the uh, location gets pointed on the google map and it's uh, into the database of our, of our app and uh, you get a uh, augmented display in a circular view uh, we have actually just uh, started so we have only circular views in the augmented a uh, green represents the healthy plants and the red represents that that particular plant is uh, not healthy and it is having some uh, alerts associated with the next is a map view wherein you get this but this whole picture into a 2d picture this whole ground will be uh, converted into a 2d view wherein you get a simpler view the green represents that the healthier plant is healthy and the red again represents the plant is unhealthy and next is the details view wherein you can see the prototype uh, the, the app uh, app has this thing wherein uh, the graph is shown then you have the plant's name uh, the plant's uh, plant's name then it needs water that is uh, it has a notification associated with it the current temperature which it, it is facing uh, when it was planted then uh, what is the moisture rate and then you have a, a button uh, this button what does the button does like you are outside the office and uh, you get the notification that the plant needs water so you can just click on this button and the sprinklers over there will get started the edit button is uh, for you can change the name only these all database will be here uh, from the system uh, the dates and all you can just in the name of the plant this uh, feature we have put uh, so that if a person doesn't remembers the name of a plant then he can give his or her name as per his convenience okay this is the side menu in the side menu this particular uh, circle uh, displays that uh, five the alerts you have faced and one alert is still left so you can uh, have a graphic uh, means a uh, uh, view wherein you can see that one alert is left five plants are there uh, then live view menu map view all plants you can add in new plants the settings menu all plants have is have, uh, having the database of all the plants wherein uh, you get a list view of the uh, all the plants alerts have the alerts part and uh, the settings menu have the email address the phone number password or in app notification you want you you want a email address notification or a text message notification and uh, okay so what is the advantage of uh, using our system uh, you need not be pro into gardening because uh, as soon as you click on the picture of the plant the uh, database searches for which plant it is actually then as per its uh, the plant's temperature you are always notified that what uh, the temperature uh, the plant needs and then next is it reduces the cost of maintenance because the actual main things required over here is the temperature sensors which uh, cost around 110 rupees or 150 rupees then next comes it increases the digitalization as our uh, prime minister is over it that uh, india should be digitalized next is it maintains connectivity between objects and we are making the use of iot uh, it increases the environmental greenery rate and decreases the time and efforts to do gardening and also increase the greenery around Future scope. Future scope is uh, we are thinking to actually uh, extend it to the agricultural works uh, so that we can actually uh, uh, extend this work to the agriculture because we are actually uh, working on the system to recognize is the plant uh, uh, is the plant suitable for this particular soil or not? Uh, that particular area where the person is planting the plant is that particular soil uh, suitable for the plant or not? So we are trying to extend this thing and the work is in progress. Then uh, this particular thing, oops.
this particular thing can be used in smart cities wherein the plants are uh, planted once and just uh, through the notification the person can take care of uh, the plants and it can, he can save the time and at the same time the digitalization is also working and the uh, city is become smart, better, becoming smarter and uh, this is just the thinking but if the NASA, NASA has a future expedition to Mars then they can they may use our technology so if the plants exist over there thank you Uh, we have we have put it for the startup. We have uh, published this thing, uh, in Mumbai. Uh, we are uh, we'll, uh, like I uh, will go back and in August we'll get the project. <laughs>